12 Strange Signs That You Have High Cortisol Levels. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any medical issues. Sign number one is waking up between 2 to 3 a.m. If you often wake up between 2 to 3 a.m. during the night and you can't seem to get back to sleep, this means that your adrenal glands are releasing too much cortisol, the main stress hormone. High cortisol disrupts the natural sleeping and wake rhythm, causing you to have a burst of energy at the wrong time. 2. Tired in the morning When it's time to get up and start your day, you'll likely be exhausted and feel unrested. This is because the high cortisol levels are suppressing your melatonin and ruining the quality of your sleep. High cortisol also causes your blood sugars to crash in the morning, which makes you tired as well. 3. High blood pressure Your adrenal glands release cortisol as a response to a stress or a threat, and this narrows your arteries to allow more blood to pump around the body. Normally, this would be important in a situation where you need to fight or run away. However, long-term emotional stress keeps cortisol and blood pressure high, which raises the risk of heart disease and metabolic syndrome. Sign 4 of high cortisol is a loss of buttocks. Losing muscle around your buttocks and thighs and then gaining fat around the belly is also a common sign of high cortisol. What's happening is cortisol is converting your larger muscles tissue into sugar to make energy and this doesn't get used so it then gets converted into fat in the liver which is stored around your belly. 5. A rounded moon face People with high cortisol levels also tend to accumulate fat and water retention around the face, causing your face to change to a more rounded, puffy shape. This happens because the cortisol is causing your body to make more glucose, which is sugar, and this is damaging the blood vessels and causing swelling in the tissues. 6. Buffalo Hump When you have high cortisol, you tend to tighten your neck and your shoulder muscles which causes you to hunch forward, and over time the spine begins to curve forward. Your body then produces a fatty hump to protect the exposed vertebrae in your spine as a protective mechanism. This buffalo hump can also be caused by poor posture and sitting too often. 7. Craving salty foods When your body's locked into the stress mode, it tends to need more salt to maintain blood pressure and fluid balance. This causes you to have cravings for salty foods more often than other people, especially after a period of difficult emotional stress or anxiety. 8. Overthinking If you can't seem to switch your thoughts off and you're constantly worried or overthinking, or perhaps you wake up in the morning instantly thinking about problems with a tight, tense feeling in your chest, you very likely have high cortisol levels. To overcome this, you can work on lowering your cortisol by following some of the relaxation tips that I'll explore later in the video. 9. Cellulite on the thighs Cortisol can interfere with collagen production and cause the collagen in your skin to break down. Weaker collagen fibres make the connective tissue in your skin less able to contain the underlying fat, causing the appearance of lumpy, dimpled cellulite on the legs mostly. Sign 10. Acid Reflux If you have regular bouts of heartburn, acid reflux and a burning sensation in your chest, this may be triggered by high levels of cortisol or stress. You see, cortisol turns off certain parts of your digestive system so that your energy is focused on defence or attack. Unfortunately, however, over long periods of time, this high cortisol or stress response can prevent the normal production of stomach acid, enzymes and bile, and this causes a flare-up of acid reflux. 11. Purple Stretch Marks High levels of cortisol over time also causes thinning of the epidermis, the outer layer of your skin. This makes purple stretch marks more likely to appear, showing blood vessels beneath the skin. Eventually, these stretch marks tend to fade to a lighter colour, such as a white or a silver. 
Number 12 is breathing problems. People who suffer from asthma, COPD or other breathing difficulties also often have a cortisol imbalance. You see, normally cortisol is supposed to protect the lungs and lower inflammation. However, over time, high cortisol levels weakens the immune response and makes your lungs more susceptible to diseases. And one more symptom to add along with that is frequent infections. By suppressing your immune system, too much cortisol makes you likely to contract infections more often, such as the common cold. It also allows viruses to come out of remission, such as herpes, so you may get a breakout in cold sores on your face, for example, when cortisol is too high. Some other symptoms of high cortisol include restless leg syndrome at night, diabetes is associated with it, hot flashes, rosacea of the skin, hiccups that don't go away, and dizziness when you get up. So now let's take a look at the causes of high cortisol. When your body is under any type of stress from things like strong emotions, exercise or even sunburn, your hypothalamus in your brain sends a signal to your adrenal glands to release cortisol. In normal levels, cortisol helps your body to heal properly, it keeps inflammation regulated and it helps your muscles to tighten and relax as they need to. However, if stress is not of a passing nature and it's more long term, such as emotional stress from losing a loved one, physical trauma or overthinking, then the high cortisol levels tend to become a problem and present the symptoms that we've talked about today. So let's take a look at these triggers for high cortisol. Drinking too much caffeine from coffee, tea or soda can raise cortisol levels. A deficiency in vitamin B1 or magnesium causes it. Over-exercising or training without allowing your muscles to recover can cause high cortisol. Processed sugar depletes minerals like magnesium, again causing high cortisol. Not getting enough regular sleep can affect it. Allergic reactions. Having too much blue light exposure, especially in the evening, can affect your cortisol cycles. Major life stress such as a breakup, losing a loved one or financial worries. And substance abuse from alcohol, drugs or medications can raise it as well. With that being said, let's take a look at some simple solutions to lower cortisol levels naturally. Firstly, reduce stimulants and limit yourself to only one cup of coffee in the early morning. I'd recommend avoiding other sources of caffeine like energy drinks, soda drinks and tea. In replacement, you can drink one to two cups of organic lemon balm tea per day. If you do this, make sure you allow the tea bag to steep for at least eight minutes to let the healing phytonutrients seep into the water. Lemon balm is a very powerful adaptogen that naturally lowers cortisol and helps the body adapt to stress. Low stress exercise. Stop overtraining in the gym and start taking some long, gentle hikes in nature to get fresh air and relax the nervous system. When you do this, turn off your phone and try to be alone. Get out of your head and relax to turn off the cortisol response. Magnesium. If you want to, take a daily supplement of 400 to 800 milligrams of magnesium glycinate to rapidly lower cortisol and relax the muscles to reduce physical stress in the body. I also highly recommend eating three tablespoons of unfortified nutritional yeast every day to supply the all-important vitamin B1. Within just 10 minutes of eating this, you'll begin to relax with a clearer mind, as the B vitamins naturally turn off the cortisol stress response. Salad. Take care of yourself better by eating a leafy green salad each day with some avocados on top. Magnesium and potassium from vegetables naturally calms down the nervous system. Avoid toxic people as much as you can, and if they're family, don't go as often and don't stay as long. Infrared. Go outside more often to expose your skin to natural infrared light from the sun. Did you know that this type of light can penetrate through clouds and even through your clothes and it is then absorbed by your skin? 
Infrared boosts melatonin production, a hormone that helps you to sleep better at night and help your body to recover from stress. Reduce blue light. Blue light emitted from cell phones, computer screens, lights and TV can actually interrupt your circadian rhythm and raise cortisol when you're using them at night. So, two to three hours before you go to sleep, get away from the devices and maybe wear some blue light blocking glasses. You'll notice better quality sleep and your high cortisol symptoms begin to go away. And if you have trauma in your past, you try to perfect everything too much or you have negative thinking patterns, consider talking to a qualified therapist. I may also suggest writing down your concerns in a daily journal to personally work through and resolve many of your issues yourself. That being said, if you'd like to learn more about the top 6 vitamins to turn off anxiety, go ahead and tap on the video that I've put on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.